When Tamaqua began its, its community visioning process in the early 1990s, where we literally invited every single resident of the borough and the surrounding townships uh, to sit down with, with the leadership of the community and tell us, you know, what would you like this community to look like in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? Uh, we heard a couple of things. We heard the need for more jobs. We heard the need for more investment. But we also heard uh, people speak loud and clear that they wanted us to preserve our history and to utilize those old buildings uh, in some cases for new purposes. The, the train station today uh, is now the, the pride of the community. It at one time had been the most blighted uh, building in the, in the middle of the, uh, the center section of, of town. And so of course today it's a successful restaurant at several shops. Uh, we have uh, similarly adapted with the help of a lot of people working very hard, uh, buildings like uh, 401 Hazel Street, a vacant old shoe factory that had been a dairy at one point. I probably walked by it a few hundred times on my way back and forth to school uh, 40 years ago. Uh, today, they're apartments, and we're looking at trying to do more and more and more of that in the community. Uh, one, it's uh, always a bad idea to have big, empty, old, blighted uh, communities uh, literally littering the landscape. Uh, two, it's a much better idea to have them serving a useful purpose. The borough is definitely in need of safe, affordable, quality housing. We had a developer look at different areas, different buildings, and they really liked the one at 401 Hazel Street. So at that point, they got involved with uh, the community and with the partnership, and we were able to secure the building. That particular area at the time was a blighted, ugly building with a lot of graffiti, a lot of pigeons, a lot of vandalism and we were able to make it into 14 beautiful housing units. The construction began in 2006. We completed it in 2007, and with that, we probably had 30-some applicants. We filled the building immediately, all 14 units. That project was about a $3.3 million cost. The project has been very successful. The neighbors were very pleased with the renovations in the neighborhood because it certainly was a vast improvement compared to what was there. 420 East Broad Street, that's going to be developed starting this year into 12 housing units. There will be two handicap units, two one bedrooms, five, uh, two bedrooms and five three bedroom units. They'll be similar to the 401 Hazel Street property. They'll try to keep um, the, the facades and stuff similar just to, so it complements the, the neighborhood. And again, we're also cleaning up another area of the borough where there was a blighted, ugly structure and it's completing another property in the historic district. In this job, in, in, in the Senate, in my prior position in the state house I've learned a lot and one is that blight is contagious but so is is the opposite to community revitalization uh, there's nothing better than breathing new life into an old building because chances are the neighbors are going to notice uh, they may come out one day and say you know I really need to get my paintbrush out or I need to call that contractor to get the windows fixed. And we've seen it happen again and again and again, uh, not just here in Tamaqua, not just in Jim Thorpe, but in so many of our communities. And we need to do uh, more. Uh, to me, there's, there's no uh, more important part of, of my job.